Hey everybody, Bill again, and welcome back to X-Plane 11. We are in the default Cessna 172 and at 18,000 feet. So the last video I did, I wanted to see what would happen in an unpressurized plane flying above the service ceiling. So the 172 has a maximum service ceiling that I've been able to find at 15,000 feet. So 18,000 feet, which is where we're at now, above the Miami area, um, is as high as I got and nothing, nothing happened. And I did it, I flew it from the ground all the way up and it took a long time to get up to 18,000 feet in a 172. So what I am going to do is I, I really want to see where the limit is and what happens. 18,000 feet might, you know, just might not be high enough to cause any, any effects from lack of oxygen or do anything to the, uh, to the airplane handling characteristics to notice. So I'm going to cheat and use the map here and our little plane bug and see how high I can get it. Um, obviously the physics of X-Plane extend past where they normally would in real life. Um, I took in a previous video an X-15 up to 5 million feet and it was wonky physics but I still had the ability to maneuver the plane using the, the control services and, and not just float out in space. So I'm really curious to see if anything happens uh, cockpit-wise or uh, cabin-wise with the lack of oxygen and air pressure. So if you go into the map mode and you can see here's the little icon of the plane with the surrounding area, I can select all three of these, pitch, speed, altitude, and heading and change them manually. So if I go into altitude, I can type in 25,000, hit enter, and then all of a sudden we're at 25,000. I have to make sure that the altitude on the autopilot is not selected. It's going to, I mean, the thing's going to tweak out for sure. What is that warning? Cancel that, just so that doesn't keep popping up. Delete flight plan. Okay. All right, so there's twenty-five thousand. Still nothing. Yep, still flying along. ridiculous with those on. How are all the engine looks okay? Fuel flow, amps, vacuum, oil temps and pressures, good. It's cold. Put the pitot heat on it might screw us up. Negative 22. Okay, so 25,000 feet, nothing. Let's try... 30,000 feet. It does not like that, does it? So there's 30,000. Oh, look at that. <laughs> A little graphical funness over there. 30,000 feet in a 172. Autopilot did turn off, and it's not turning on. Up oh, there, there it goes. Nope, it doesn't. It really doesn't like. Huh. Negative 43 degrees. All right. So now, if let's see what is happening now. Oil pressure and temps are still okay. Yeah. It doesn't doesn't like <laughs> autopilot. Let's 
from it. I'll just, I'll just hand fly it from now. Okay. Oh, maybe it was the airspeed that it was not liking. Yeah. Yeah, the airspeed just dropping like crazy. Might give it a second to figure itself out here. Yeah, no, it's not doing it. <laughs> it's got 172 with a contrail. I don't know how legit that is. Yikes. Yeah, what the hell is that? That looks really stupid. So there's our contrail. All right, let's take the next step here. Let's do 35,000 feet. Whoa. Yeah, it really didn't like that one. It is acting funky right now. Still nothing though. It's like no no effect. Shoot. It seems like the the autopilot is having the most trouble. Okay, and the graphics also. Autopilot and graphics. I think that's probably more of a function of jumping up in an altitude. <laughs> and the con contrail is, doesn't know what it's doing. That is weird looking. <laughs> what is it doing? Do have smoke on? So that's like the um, smoke for air show, which I don't know if that should be coming out of the engine. That's weird. Engine still sounds okay. The airspeed is not good. I need this thing to be so huge. Okay, so 33, let's go to 40,000. Okay, so that initial jump up seems to be the most jarring part about it. And then once, once it settles down, it doesn't seem to mind that much. I really wish this texture would pop in so it doesn't look so stupid. Okay, so there's 40,000 feet. Again, not... Um, airspeed is not good. Okay, so negative 69 degrees Fahrenheit. We'd definitely be dead from that and the lack of oxygen. Oil temp is just dead to zero. Pressure's still good. Fuel flow is insanely low. How is that so low? Full mixture on. Exhaust gas temps, just nothing. Okay, so that was, we lost 2,000 feet there. Let's just go up to 50. See what happens at fifty thousand. Negative sixty-nine degrees. 
sky color starting to change. Uh, let's check the instruments again. Pressure good, temps, nothing. Fuel flow. <laughs> the fuel flow is like almost pegged down. Let's check it out from the outside. Yeah, this, look at that texture. That is so dumb. Cessna on the edge of space. <laughs> yeah, so far, nothing. 50,000 feet in a 172, and nothing. Let's just go up another 10. Let's see what happens. Ooh, does not like that jump. And airspeed is... kind of being weird. I guess it's more from the... It seems to just drop every time we jump up. I'm not really connected to... Altitude readings, maybe. Although, I think at a higher... I mean, at this altitude, there's... Just, I mean, it's just getting the reading from the pedo. Oil pressure is still good. How's the texture doing? Yep, still not there. Oh. Whoa. Alright, now we're <laughs> at the edge of space. <laughs> yeah, that's... That's not likely. I mean, this this is high for any, any plane. I mean, an airliner is not going to be up here. SR-71s can be you know, higher than this, but still not uh, comfortable up here. And it's still working. Everything's still just on. The temps are just are pegged. And that's about it. So let's do, yeah, true knot speed, 182 knots. And what does our indicated say? 60. That's That's funny. Okay, so let's go to 70. I mean, at some, at some point, something has to give, right? I mean, I, I wonder if the, the, the higher we get, the airspeed is just going to, indicated airspeed is going to be so low that the plane doesn't have any lift because we're not going fast enough. That might be the only... the only thing I can think of. We can see the other side of Florida. That's how high we are. That's crazy. Yeah. So texture-wise, it's not very pretty up here. And this enormous block. I don't get that. I don't know why that has not rectified itself. Hey, we're still still climbing. Um, actually, no, we're not climbing. Yeah, I think that's going to be what stops us from going higher is the, the airspeed. So let's do, what would we, so I think we were at 70,000, so let's do 80, 80,000, really at the edge of space now, okay, let's get the nose pointed down a little bit, get some airspeed, <laughs> 
Okay, so that stall warning buzzer is annoying. Still doing it. And that's still happening. Damn it. Okay, how's the, how the controls feel? It feels pretty normal. It's just like right on the verge of stalling. Let's try 90. Why stop at 80? <laughs> so we're on the uh, just on the verge of stalling. What is our indicated airspeed? 300 knots. It's our true <laughs> true airspeed. That is insane. We're just hauling ass over the ground. Yeah, I think I think that's going to be the only thing that stops us is just not being able to move fast enough. So if I go 100,000 and this is this is coming into like actual space here. Low Earth orbit. Yeah. So I am trimmed for pretty even. And I have, I'm pulling completely back on the stick here. Let's see. So here, just to keep it level and air the vertical indicator I don't know what that is indicating it's like pegged on 2000 but it's like not it doesn't indicate up or down so if I go to what kind of appears to be level so we can get this to stop spinning Yeah, it's just like it's it's in a constant free fall. That's what's happening. So I have to pull so far up just to stop descending. <laughs> Let's look at it from the outside. This is so stupid. Cessna in space. Look at I mean look at how much like stick I have to put in. You can see the elevators just just to stay level. All right, let's just do one more. I <laughs> lost ten thousand feet better than that. Let's do one more big one. One hundred twenty thousand feet. So now we're basically going zero miles an hour. <laughs> zero knots. Yeah, I, I have no. I'm pulling. I'm pulling up straight, straight back. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. What? Four hundred and sixty. Oh god, what is gonna happen? <laughs> All right, so here's some action. This is what I was hoping for. Somewhat. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god.